March 23, 2011, and this is the SC Center. Patrick, I'm so excited. Didn't get a call. Got the intro lined up. You're still in HD. I'm not, not muted. Place. We're good to go. What's going on right now with you, Patrick? How is New York? Is it did it snow? Is it end up snowing? It did snow. What it the fuck? I don't. I well, don't and a stranger turn of events, place. Patrick. I actually played last night in the opening game of the GSTL against MVP, no less. Uh, there was JYP going up against uh, MVP for uh, that was the IM versus TSL match, and uh, MVP going up against JYP take took him out. Turns out his TVP is not as bad as we all thought. Should actually bring this up so you guys can see what I'm talking about. And uh, MVP went on a tear uh, against TSL, taking out Killer, aka Sangho, next, and then taking out Fruit Dealer as well. It was a pretty exciting, close game. Fruit Dealer, uh, I, I thought going into the mat was going to be actually terrible, um, but it wasn't. It, it was a little bit better than that. It was a little bit less better than terrible, or more better than terrible, whatever that means. Uh, but it was still good regardless. And then. Uh, TSL Trickster came in, and that was an awesome game uh, between him and MVP on Zelnaga Caverns. There was some great situational stuff there. Definitely go check out that VOD. But Losira, the Zerg player who simply does not lose ever, no matter what, he ended up taking out Trickster, meaning that Incredible Miracle is going to be going into the finals, and they're going to be going up against the winner of Slayer's Clan slash TSL, or excuse me, slash ST, also known as Startail. And uh, I know you haven't watched all the games, Patrick, but of the first couple ones that you've watched, what are your thoughts so far? Um, MMA is awesome. I think uh, Artosis uh, talking... Uh, this is one of Artosis' uh, favorite guys. You know, Artosis is well known for picking a uh, picking a player and sticking with Wait, him. Wait, Artosis hypes him. people? Are you, are you trolling me? <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, so, yeah, I mean, I'm a I'm, I'm big fan of MMA. As far as the first match goes... It was cool to see MVP playing well again. I thought the matches, you know, he didn't dominate. Um, the the other three players that he beat played played competently. They played well, so it was cool to see some good games. I really recommend everyone goes and checks out the semifinals. GSTL delivering the goods as usual. I think. Yeah, yeah, and then we had July starting up against uh, Frozen. From Slayers, uh, we saw him play the other night against MC in a PvP. Didn't really get to see too much of his stuff because, I mean, what fucking foregate in pvp that's all you can do <laughs> so we saw him going up against july and uh it was pretty good july ended up taking him out I'm not sure if that was bolded looks like it wasn't so yeah july took out frozen there in the first game on tall dream altar and uh then mma came in took out july took out squirtle took out curious then game five came around and bomber came in that was an incredible tvt i know patrick you haven't watched it yet so uh, do you, do you care? Do you mind if I just talk it up, man? Okay, I'm, I'm gonna watch the end of the game. No bases left. One SCV left. One command center left. Four bomber. Three uh, cloaked banshees left, and a handful of marines. But bomber's got three tanks and a handful of marines with medevacs himself, and it becomes like this really weird situation where the entire game MMA was just so far ahead. I mean, at one point he was on four bases to the two of Bomber, and he just kept dropping him, kept keeping his army in check and everything like that. Bomber said, fuck it, I'm going to all in. <laughs> he sends everything over, ends up taking out a lot of the forces of MMA, and then it becomes this really weird kind of game where it was all about when uh, Bomber had scans for these three Banshees, and we just saw three Banshees die one by one, and then the game became this weird stalemate, and eventually MMA just really couldn't do anything because they did have the tanks that he had to def he had to defeat, and Bomber got a base back up. Uh, but, man, that was a really, really good game. Haven't watched Game 7 yet, but it looks like uh, Ryung, I, I guess is how I'm going to pronounce it. I think that's how it's pronounced. From Slayers, did take out Bomber, and uh, it wasn't too talked about in the GSTL thread, so I'm not entirely sure if it's that exciting of a game. But it does mean that Ryung's TVT is as good as it was the other day. And uh, tonight, I can't actually wait. We're going to have the GSTL, the GSL Team League, Team League Finals. Uh, starting at 5 a.m. EST, uh, Incredible Miracle versus Slayers. Who do you got to win that, Patrick? Ooh, man, I you know I want to take Incredible Miracle, um, but honestly, GSTL. Who the hell knows? I'm not I'm not betting who? any money on this. What about you? See, the best thing I, I gotta go back. We're gonna talk a sec. 
The best thing about the GSTL is the fact that players come in like MMA, never seen them in Code A, never seen them in Code S, and they just dominate people. We saw men come in the other day from Slayers, like, who the, who the hell is that? He's actually incredibly good. And those are the games that I actually get really, really excited for. I mean, don't get me wrong, watching MVP go up against Fruit Dealer and, and Soki Su is, is pretty exciting. But when I see a player like MMA, who is actually so good, he's not in Code A and Code S, it is so, so exciting. But who do I have to take it all well I'm going to have to go with Slayers. Uh, you know, a lot of people didn't even consider them to be in the top teams, uh, the top four teams, really. And they've actually proved everyone wrong. They took out OGS, who probably had the best lineup, really, if you're going by Code A and Code S standard. Uh, but, incredible miracle, we haven't seen Nest T play yet. We've only seen MVP just destroy people. So I think if they start off with MVP again, they could probably throw in uh, Ryung or MMA to maybe snipe him. Uh, but... It's going to be a great time. I cannot actually wait for that. I'm rooting for uh, Slayers, by the way. I mean, I'll probably liquibet Incredible Miracle because I'm a soulless bastard, but I want <laughs> Slayers to win, definitely. It's going to be awesome, man. I cannot cannot wait for that. Hey, I heard you uh, broke some news yesterday on a pro oh, league yeah. coming out of IGN. <laughs> How's that, Patrick? How's that going? Big, big, big news. Um, so... Long story short, there's a big thread on it in the community news in uh, on Team Liquid. You should check that out if you're one of the, I don't know, two people watching this stream who don't know about it. I have a uh, credible source who is telling me that IGN's new Pro League will have over 150,000 uh, prize pool. Um, and then from there, I, we were able to get that news out, and from there it started a snowball because IGN, I think, went into panic mode and was like, let's just, let's just roll with it. So uh, all of a sudden a player list is out, and it's a bunch of North American players like Phoenix, Idra, In Control, Chef. You can check all that out. A blog surfaced on IGN. Um, so all of that's uh, easily available in the OP. The one thing that's not easily available, though, is um, DJ Wheat freaking out on the StarCraft 2 community telling us to stop what? being pessimistic bastards. And he's totally right, man. Uh, later in the thread, DJ Wheat, there's too many people seeing IGN coming in and immediately, immediately giving their crazy reasons why this is going to be a huge failure or it's going to be the greatest success of all time. Everybody, just let it be. Be happy and see how it develops. That's, that's the only we, advice I have to say. Yeah, yeah, we, we. we laying down the law. Just being a normal, sane human being, it was smart. Pay attention to what Wheat says. He knows what he's talking about. What's going on with the MLG pools, man? Well, MLG... I, you know, I just remembered MLG announced that Dell or Alienware is their uh, sponsor today for PCs, and we didn't have that in news. But oh, yeah. There, there's that. You can go check it out over at uh, MLG.com. I just had a bug on me. That was kind of weird. <laughs> Anyways, I, I got to say, Patrick, by the way, I'm going to go off another tangent. See this wall right here? This wall? It's infested mm. with ants. Oh, yeah? Yeah. They're, like, literally chewing through my house. This wall could collapse at any minute. Don't mean to alarm you, <laughs> and but probably will. If it does, I'm sorry. <laughs> that's going to be the end of GSTL. Uh, anyways, MLG, we announced the the pools and also what we're going to be streaming here for Pool A. We've got Kiwi Kaki Idra Sock. I'm just calling them that because that's what it means in German. So f you guys. Greetorp, and then Pool B. We got select. Do you give you trouble about pronouncing it Sock because you seem to be imaginary people do apparently. A lot of people right. will give me shit, but Pool B. We got select QXC Ret and Show. Uh, C is going to be Pain User Slush, TLO in control, and Pool D is going to be Drewby, Tyler, Og, and Machine. And uh, we're going to be streaming Idra vs. Sock, Select vs. Show, Tyler vs. Machine, Select vs. Rhett, Idra vs. Greetorp, and wrapping it up with In Control versus TLO there on Friday night, the kickoff, which is going to be next Friday night for MLG Dallas. That's going to be great. Cannot wait for that. Uh, NASL, they've been announcing a lot of players, supposed to be five a day, but ended up being like 15 for the first day, apparently. What, what's up with that, Patrick? Right, so the, uh, the plan seems to be five a day, but uh, Internet Sleuths found 15, and now it's up to 20. I'll just list them real quick. They're mostly uh, NA players, but we do have Moon, Phoenix, Kibikaki, Group 1, QXC, Dark Force, Cruncher, Group 2, Ki Kawaii Rice, Hey Pro, Naniwa, Group 3, 
Uh, group four, select Hasuab and Katz. Group five, Idra, Sock, and Cloud. And then it seems like uh, more is TLO, Strelok, Slush, Machine, and Sen. Not exactly sure uh, the group, uh, how that's going to work out. But NASL looking to be uh, another star-studded event. Got me pretty excited about 2011. I heard it's going to be a big year in esports. E- seems to be coming true. We're just getting um, started, too. I, I'm just going to say that, that it's just getting started with all of this shit. <laughs> it's going to get even yeah, more crazy as the year progresses. Remember, we're only in March. Esports doesn't really start getting crazy till May. Just think about that for a second. And uh, it is what it is, man. It is what it is. It is what it is. I mean, it's been a pretty crazy year. I'm excited. Everyone's been making these predictions for months and months. And uh, it's more than I expected, honestly. I, I, I don't know about you, but I was not expecting it to get this awesome this fast. Um, what's going on in DreamHack? You can go ahead and make up to the administration over there now. <laughs> well, they are, uh, we, we announced yesterday, or they announced yesterday that Jinro and MC are going to be attending, and now two more players have been announced. Idra and Huck are going to be going over there to DreamHack Stockholm Invitational on April 12th. They're going to be flying out right after MLG, it seems. And, uh, are they going to be announcing two players every day for the rest of the week, or... I don't know their plans, but it seems that way. Well, I'll probably get shit for this for not researching it. I think it's 16 players total, so they're probably going to be announcing that over the next couple of days. But it's going to be an exciting event. I'm very, very much looking forward to seeing the rest of that player list. Uh, Did you tune into State of the Game last night, Patrick? Let's see if you have a friend still. I did tune into about uh, two hours of it. It it gets long. I got to tell you, when you started to talk about PVZ or whatever, I, I had to... I had to back out slowly I, over the room. I was questioning like if we wanted to talk about it. Yeah. Well, I think we but, went on for like two hours, 40 minutes. But Brother Mac opened up the show with a nice little prayer. And that was uh, very nice of him. He might be doing that each <laughs> week for us. We had our special guest, Sock, on. And uh, you can check out the VODs over at itmejp.blip.tv. Tune into that. It's actually awesome. Me, my, me myself. I guess that works. Uh, in control, Tyler, Sock, Artosis is on there in the pregame. That's also up on my blip and on the YouTube right here. Uh, but Patrick, I'm going to ask if you got anything else. And instead of saying no, you have to have something else this time. Whew, I, I saw that YouTube comment. Man, it is pressure. I don't know, man. I don't know. I'll have something tomorrow, I promise. I'll insult someone. All right, man. Well, you could follow my Patrick. You should follow me on Twitter at, at mejp. You have a boring Twitter. I don't. I don't like your Twitter. <laughs> I'm, don't follow Patrick on Twitter. Over you don't, Twitter you don't follow me on Twitter, man. I know yeah, I that. do. Do you? You want to fight, Patrick? Is that what you want? <laughs> you want to fight right here? Send in tips, guys, to tips at mjp.com. That is going to do it for today's uh, SC Center, because Patrick, of course, he, he doesn't have anything. We'll see you guys tomorrow, and or yeah, we'll see you guys tomorrow. But look, look at Sella here in the right of the picture, Patrick. Isn't he cute? He's the coach. Sella's- so that was a, a, a good dude. He's I the like coach him. of Slayers. He's actually awesome. Tune this is only that. the second best uh, picture, though. The one with uh, Artosis and, and uh, Tasteless looking into each other's eyes lovingly. That's you the best one. You mean that one, Patrick? Absolutely. Boom. I do mean that. Team League tonight, Thursday, 5 a.m. Eastern. Incredible Miracle versus Slayers. It's going to be awesome. See you guys then. We are out.